Continuing on from part two of the introduction to GCL+, there are three more programming tools we need to introduce before we start actually doing some programming. One of which is the single most important tool to help you learn GCL plus programming language. First to look at is the object reference watch list. As you build your program and it keeps getting bigger and bigger, IntelliWeb keeps track of all the objects the program references and adds them to the watch list. This is an invaluable tool for troubleshooting your program. Under this is a history list of the saved program edits. If you select details, a code difference window opens that can be used to compare old versions of the program and even copy an older version to the editor. It can then be saved to the controller and reused. Out of all the tools we have looked at now, here's the most important one, and that is the GCL Plus help file. You can access the help file by simply hitting the question mark on the top right and then selecting help. It contains the information on how to use the GCL plus editor, as well as the GCL plus language concepts, GCL plus language reference, best practices, and it also gives some examples. Using the GCL plus editor covers a lot of the information we have in these first tutorials. The GCL plus language reference is invaluable as you continue to learn how to program. Take the time to go through and read it. As mentioned earlier, programming is basically translating. We're translating what is written in English, perhaps in a sequence of operations, and then we have to translate it into GCL plus language. Well, if you're learning any new language, what do you have? You usually have a dictionary or perhaps you will use a conversion app that will take what's said in English and convert it into the language you're learning. That is exactly what the GCL Plus language reference is. It is your dictionary. For example, as you learn to program or as maybe you troubleshoot other people's programs, you'll come across words or functions and you might not know what it means. Well, if you come across a new word in a new language, what do you do? You go to the dictionary to see what that means in your mother tongue. Well, one word you might come across in GCL plus troubleshooting is the word switch. What does that mean in this language? Well, go to the language reference, go down to S, and there you'll find switch. Opening it up, it will give you an explanation of what its purpose is, what sort of syntax it has, and different comments and even examples of how it is used. Now, here's a hint. If you want to use it, can I copy and paste it into the editor? Absolutely. It's an invaluable resource to help you to learn how to program. Here is one more feature about the help file that is very useful. Suppose you want to use a term, but you can't remember exactly how it is used, but you don't want to go through all the clicks of getting to the help file. Well, what you can do is you can simply start to type it. So we're going to use our switch statement and see how it turns it yellow. But what we can do is we can hit function F1 and the GCL plus editor will bring up the help file entry for that function directly. So hitting F1 is available only in the GCL plus editor. Anywhere else in IntelliWeb, it'll bring up the help file for the web browser. But a quick and handy tool to help you find out how to use a particular function in GCL plus. So we've gone through a lot of features that IntelliWeb has and a lot of functionality that Delta's put into their GCL Plus editor. But just to reiterate, the most helpful tool for you to learn GCL Plus is the help file.